This is a 50 ton servo electric press with heated flattens. These flattens go to 150 C, approximately 300 M. This press is being used in the uh, manufacturing of electric batteries for automotive vehicles. Whenever we're testing and setting up a servo electric press like this, we independently verify all of our readings. In terms of the force, we have the press set up to measure force, and then we bring in a second load cell and match it at different points, probably eight, 10 different points in the cycle multiple times to make sure that the numbers that we're calculating with the press are actually being measured out on the test equipment. Under normal testing, we hold one and a half thou per foot flatness, the parallelism between our plat. We actually crushed metal in the press to test the thickness of it afterwards and verify that that parallelism was holding throughout the pressure ranges. So the servo press is one of their main advantages is how accurate they are, both in terms of position and force. We shot one video uh, with a dial indicator in the press trying to demonstrate just how accurate it is. The dial indicator, each tick mark on it is one thousandth of an inch. Put that into scale, a typical like page is probably three or four thousandths thick. So one quarter of a page is about how accurate we can place the pram on this press. Not only is it accurate, Individually, it's also repeatable. If you're watching that video, it's going up and down and it's traveling 12 inches and it's coming down to the exact same spot every time on that dial indicator. One of the features of the standard servo electric press is to include data capture and data logging with our systems. Anytime you're running in semi-auto mode, it logs the position, the force, the speed, the dwell, everything about the cycle so that you can review it later. It's most commonly used where they need very strong part traceability. This is our standard off-the-shelf product. This is something that we can produce every day, all day long. Even with all the accuracy it does, both in terms of position and force, the heated platens, this is, you know, bread and butter for us on a lot of the times. It's a very standard project.